somebody living in that building behind us. I know it. My wife cleans the offices. If there were people hiding, she'd know it. She thought she saw something once, but he turned out to be a salesman. Everybody's hiding somebody these days. What bothers me is that uh, they may be Jews. Could be bad for all of us. You think Kugler's in on it? Kugler. <laughs> Kugler's a liar. I know that already. That whole bunch in the office is always sneaking around. Kleiman says he has to go to the storeroom, and the secretary is always checking records, and the other one, that meep. Something about her I don't like. She's shifty, that one. What can you do? Firing for Marin could be dangerous. If he suspects something, there is a chance he could go to the Gestapo. The reward for Jews has gone up to 25 guilders a head. On the other hand, if the fellow's stealing, he's got something to hide as well. Yes, I think you're right. We have to be more cautious from now on, all of us. That was our last hundred guilders. What are we to do for money now? One of those fancy dresses of yours should be worth something. I'd like to see you try. Stop being a ninny. And don't speak to me that way. Whose fault is it we're in this pickle? Certainly not mine. Would you please stop arguing? You're like two magpies always bickering. And I don't see you offering to help. Please, to everyone. Accusations accomplish nothing. We're left to fend for ourselves while you keep all the money from the business. Don't you think my curly deserves a share of that money? Hmm? Where would you all be without his precious nose? I tell you, still making jam. See, I told you we should have taken in the Goslars. Oh, Edith, please. Is that so? Yes, it is. Oh, Mr. Pfeffer, would you mind waiting a moment? Would you please convey this to Mr. Van Pels? Tell him, um, <laughs> tell him my way to response. Oh, yes, of course. If Mrs. Frank wants her linen back, she can have all of it. I've never really cared for it. To be honest, I've always found it rather shabby, haven't you? And from now on, they can use their own china. See how they like that. Thank you, Mr. Pfeffer. Very well. Be sure to put that in the letter. All right. It'll teach them to put on airs. Mr. Pfeffer, would you please ask Mr. Van Pels to pass the salt? <sighs> At least it was one of theirs this time. Here. It's all right. You shouldn't get into trouble on my account. What do you think you're doing? Sit down. Look at yourselves. You're supposed to know better. How do you think it makes us feel? Me, Peter, and Margot, to see you behaving this way. A fine example you're setting. She's right, you know. There's absolutely no place for patterners. Give me your plate. Would you like soup or porridge? Porridge, please. Mr. Pfeffer, would you be so kind as to pass this porridge to Mr. Van Peltz? <laughs> Mr. Frank? Mr. Van Peltz. Have some vegetables, Margo. Ah, 
Here's a joke for you, Anne. What has four legs and flies? Hmm? Tell me. Hmm? <laughs> a horse. <laughs> A horse. A horse can't fly. A horse that's with the flies at the tail. Hmm? Oh, don't be disgusting. <laughs> Come on, put it. No, don't get it. What do you mean? A horse with the flies at the tail. Peter! It was announced from the broadcasting station at Cologne this evening that the whole of Western Germany is to be blacked out until further. You should drink this. Mm. Such a bother having the flu. I'm afraid to cough for fear someone might hear. I like the bells. I like to hear that there is life waiting for us. Margo, what do you miss most about outside? I don't know. So many things. I long for everything. I've decided something. What? After the war, I'm going to live. I'm going to travel, study languages, go to Paris or London, study history. I love history. It sounds romantic. You think I'm too extravagant? No. I've been thinking too. I've been reading about Palestine. I'd like to see it. Maybe be a nurse there. It's going to be different for us. We're going to be modern women. Kind of you meet. I wish there were more. There are not enough ration coupons. You don't need ration coupons for this. Oh, oh, the supplier understandably <laughs> wishes to <laughs> remain anonymous. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Thank you for coming. You have no idea what it's like for me and Mrs. Skies. No one has any sympathy. Least of all that girl. They have each other, you see. I have no one. Only Charlotte. Oh, thank you, my darling. Did she give you anything? <laughs> oh. Thank you. And Merry, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Thank you. Anne. Anne, I have something for you. 